Hello everybody, it's me Laura again. Today I'd like to warmly welcome you to a soft-spoken colouring video. In this video today I will be going through some of the pictures from this app and I will be colouring them in. As I do so, I will be softly tapping on the surface around the iPad. So this app is called Colouring 2 and it can be found on the Apple Store for the iPhone and the iPad. This is a colour by number app that I've been enjoying lately. So I'll just show you it. So you get a variety of pictures to choose from that you colour in. And there are categories such as fashion, random objects, holidays, transportation, food, flowers, animals, and as you can see, I just recently completed this one, which is a dolphin. So if you see any little ribbons, or medals next to it. It is because they are locked for premium members. This app is completely free, but it does include premium additional content, which you can see here. You can have access to a free trial for three days of all of the premium content and pictures on this app. Or you can choose to sign up for any of the plans. There is a 1 month, 3 month and 12 month plan. Do take note that this is an auto renewable subscription app. So if you do decide to go ahead and get any of those plans, do take that into consideration. But for me right now, I'm just going to go through some of the other pictures and content. There are plenty to choose from, so for this one today, let's start off with this one, the butterfly. Okay, so here we have our design that we'll be colouring in, and it has three different colour schemes that we'll be colouring in the picture with. So let's start off with number one. So it does have a roller option, so you can gloss over all of the numbers from that particular category, but I prefer colouring them in individually. And so of course, with the number one, I'm just following where the number one is. Okay. So now let's move on to number two. This is more of a mustard yellow. It's really nice and smooth to follow through the colours. So this one follows the colour 3 predominantly, which is black. Move the picture down slightly. We're just filling in those blocks of colour. This 
so I really enjoy colouring in my spare time. I find it to be a very relaxing time passer, both through apps and pen and paper. Hello Pete's Art. Now of course with the premium version of this app, you don't get any adverts, as well as extra pictures you can colour in. Okay, so that is our first design complete. And you can of course tell the app whether you liked it or not. I liked it for its simplicity. So, that is now stored and catalogued, and we can move on to a different design. Let's do something a little bit more complicated, with more colours. Let's see. The fantasy section is a little bit interesting. I like a few of those. Let's see. So, I think I'm going to go with this one. This flower here. Okay. So we have a much broader colour scheme. So this will show you the palette, and you also have the roller, which will colour in lots of blocks at the same time. This is the bucket, for colouring in colours from a certain number. And that's the eraser, for any mistakes you have made. So let's begin with number 5, as it's already preset for us. So I'm just going to follow in this dark green. Fives and twos can look kind of similar upside down. Okay. Now if you of course make any mistakes here and you're unaware of it, the app will let you know by slightly changing the colour of that particular block just to let you know where you need to make some changes Okay Alright Do we have any other number fives right now? Oh, we have quite a few. That will be for the stem and the leaves, I would presume. So I'm just going to colour this in as I tap gently on the surface. And all of them. One more here. Okay, so it's now ticked off the number five, letting us know that we are now done with that colour. So let's move on to number eight, as I can see it here. So this is a lighter green. I find apps for the most part to be my preference when it comes to colouring, as they're just more reliable. So we have completed that number. So let's move on to number one. This is a pretty icy blue. It will fill in a large part of the colours. 
for this particular flower. Okay. So that is the blue part of this colouring complete, or at least for that number. Let's move on to number two. I'm seeing a lot for this colour. Okay. So this is just going to be random sounds as I colour this in. It's a little bit more of a relaxed sort of video. Where I get to show you one of my pastimes that I enjoy. And perhaps it's more of a visual trigger. So, as I'm colouring this in, I like to just ramble about a few things. So I'm going to make a dedicated video discussing this. But I have recently updated my Patreon and it has been completely refreshed with different rewards. So if you'd like to go check that out, I will leave a link to it in the description. Okay, let's move on to number three. So, I have updated it with a few different tiers. So, some of the rewards include submitting an idea for a public video, having your name said aloud in a Say Your Name series, as well as being able to access all of my videos, their audio and the video, offline. There are a few other rewards on there, if you're interested. I will leave a link to it, of course, in the description. Okay, so let's move on to number four now. So this is much more of a warm orange. We saw this with the butterfly. That was quick. Let's move on to number six. So, on another note, I just completed Dragon Quest completely a few days ago and that was so fun to finish. There were some really difficult challenges near the end there but I did it eventually. That made me really happy. But if you don't know Dragon Quest is a video game series, and I just released a new title for Western audiences recently. And that has been a wonderful game to play. I would highly recommend it. So there we have it. That is my second colouring complete. I think it came out quite 
pretty. I love the pixel art style of this. So I think I'm going to finish off with maybe one more colouring, as I enjoy doing these. So for our last colouring today, let's go for the cupcake. Okay, so it seems we have a variety of colours on this one. So let's start with some of the details. I'm just going to do a little bit more tapping. As I fill in the colours. And again, I don't like to colour in any particular order. It's just the first of the number that I see that I draw to. So if you are at all interested in this app, I will of course leave a link to it in the description for you. If this is something you'd be interested in. Okay, so that is number six complete. So let's move on to number five. There's not a lot for number five that I can see. And again, you can use the roller tool to colour in more blocks at a time. But I just prefer the slight detailing of doing the colouring one by one. So that's number five complete. Let's move on to number four. So number four appears to be predominantly down here. Just to fill in those colours. Okay. I might have a few more left for number four. Let's move on to the blue section. There's quite a lot of blue on this cake. I love finger pad tapping. It's probably one of my favourite triggers. Soft, delicate sounds of tapping those numbers that I find to be very relaxing. I'm just going to move on to that pink now. There's not a lot for that. Few, what appears to be sprinkles here and there. That one's complete. And now we're left with number three to finish off what seems to be the majority of the cake. So I'm curious. any of you watching like to colour. I know it's quite popular right now. I myself am really drawn to any specific pattern. I find things like mandalas 
and almost novelty items like this to be the most interesting to colour in. So we have completed our final colouring. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Take care everybody. Goodbye.